Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing another episode checking out your guys' solar system. So, some of you may be wondering, I only did one of these episodes yesterday but I've decided I'm going to upload every day this week so I thought I'd throw an extra episode of this in so hopefully you will enjoy it and um, don't get um, too bored even though we only did upload one of these yesterday. So we're going to be checking out two or three systems today I believe, um, all from um, the user Dank Yoshi in the Discord, so I don't know what your YouTube account is since obviously you're posting it on here, so um, let yourself be known in the comments um, if people want to check you out and I'm pretty sure they'll find you, I'll pin the message as well if I see it, so yeah that's all out of the way, so you know, we've got two or three systems to do today, so the first one is the Vetkuri system, so Vetkuri is um, quite a common name you get with random spawned object, well let's see um, what we've got here, okay. So quite a large, um, quite a large system going down here. Okay, this system's actually run as well. So this is a brown red dwarf sort of thing. So it's very very small, mostly a red dwarf. But it's got obviously it's colder in temperature. So looking good. Okay, so our first object here. And obviously, yeah, this guy is tiny. Only four hundred thousand. That is, that is pretty small. Like for a sun. There you go. So yeah, quite a small star. So the first object around it is um, Unsu. Things I say, and it's a very, very hot object as we can see here, very burning up, very, very hot. Okay, next up we've got, oh, this one's actually smoking up. We've got Bitum here, okay. Oh no, I think it's, oh no, it's this object here, it's smoking up. Lonax, okay. Let me just reload the simulation quick. I want to see if this, maybe Roosh Limit destroyed this. I don't know. Let's um, pause. Let's go back there. So here's Bitum. So th this object here. Okay, so it was always burning up, okay. I was just wondering, maybe it got destroyed by Rouge Limit, but now it's always been that size. So yeah, here's Bitum, 800 degrees as well. So how luminous is this star? Let's have a look. So by suns, 0 0.3 suns. So, yeah, these objects are quite close as well, so that's to be expected. It's going to be quite hot. Uh, next up, we've got Cyber. Okay, so here it is here. It's got some moons around it as well. Anything, any big moons? Because whenever my rule is, if there's little asteroids like this, we don't need to zoom in on them since they're all the same. There's not really anything unique about them. Um, next up we've got Pesky, oh, so I almost said Pepsi then, let's see, we've got Pesky here, uh, then we've got a moon of Mola and Ionia, okay, so that's a larger moon, here we go here, 388, so it is quite small but still larger compared to those um, other ones, and that is quite a cool view, that is a very cool view actually, look at that, let's get a screenshot of that, I think that looks, look at that, that's quite a nice view, I'm going to use that as a thumbnail actually, that's quite a nice little shot there, so let's do it, why not? Well, maybe it'll make the fun though, unless we see something else cooler further on. But that's quite a cool um, um, shot there. I like that. So yeah, there's um, Donia. Okay, so what we got next? So next up is um, Posu. Okay, another rocky object here. It's got a lot of objects burning up around it. Look at all this. So there we go. So it's just more minor objects. No large objects on here. So but there's Posu. It's got Rose, which is a small um, object here as well. Okay. Okay, what do we have next? Next up, so we've got Mana. Okay, so this is our Earth light -like world. Okay, let's um, get a look here. Oh, I'm liking the colour theme with the brown and the green. That's quite a cool mix. 24 degrees. Let's check the stats 97 Earth serenity and 46.9 life -like hood. We still need someone to make 100 life -like hood, if it's even possible. But yes, it'd be really cool if someone can actually get that. I'll see how high you can make that stat and send me the system. Um, we can do it in a video because, yeah. 100 on that would be pretty cool, but yeah, there's mana. Nice job with 46.9. That's still a very nice score. So there is a full good look of it. Looking good. Okay. So we go men. And also, what I'm thinking about as well, guys, um, tomorrow will be a normal upload. It won't be one of these episodes, but the day after, since I wouldn't obviously upload um, one day after the other, I may do another episode of this. Like I may just do like a whole subscriber system week, so... Normal videos will still go as normal, but in between them, on the days I don't upload, I'll do an episode of this. What, what do you guys think of that? I, I don't really need to catch up on these, because there's so many. I want to try and get as many done before I go on holiday. And I will have to have some pre-recorded before I go on holiday as well. So, yeah, I've got a lot of videos um, planned for me to record this week. And you'll be seeing them across the next few weeks when I am obviously on holiday. So I won't be home to make them. Um, so I need to make them before I leave. On oh, this one here, uh, Arum. Ar Arum, I'm saying that right. Orun. Think. But yeah, this is a very nice mix of pink there, and it looks good with the light of the star, I have to say, as well. It's quite a nice colour. The background lights it up a lot as well. Usually, um, backgrounds aren't that bright, but it looks like the background brightness has been lit up there, but that's looking good. Okay, um, next up we've got Bon. Okay, it's like, that's a gas giant. And it looks like it's the last object in the system as well. So here's Bon. 
Okay, there we go. So there it is. Let's get, go on flashlight. Just get to see what it actually looks like. So that's what it looks like. It's also got another gas shown orbiting it over there called Porter. Okay, cool. Um, so here we go. Um, CIA, uh, UMP, uh, Tatum, um, Ralata. Uh, I think they say that. And then it's got Porter, which is the big moon. And it has its own ring system as well. And it's got a little um, moon as well. So, put put po poem. I think that's how you say that. So yeah, there we go. So that is all of it for the Fekri system. So yeah, well, this was quite a quick, um, small little system. So we'll do some more from the same um, guy. So and yeah, we'll be on those uh, soon. So here's the whole lineup. So let us know what you thought down below in the comments. Which object's best out of this system? I think I'm going to pick this one. Um, this one here. I really do like that that pink. I think it mixes quite well with the water. That's probably my favourite out of the, all of these. But overall, nice little system named after Fekri. So there is that. Okay, so next up, we've got the system called the MAG system. So let's see what we've got here. So MAG. So I've already got it here. So MAG system, here we are. So let's see. So here's MAG. Oh, and I'm liking the background colour. Okay. Oh, also a very small system. Good thing that these are all small. It means we can fit them all into one episode quite easy. So here's MAG. So this is a... Um, very very small little star even smaller than the previous one only at 300,000 as well so very very small it's dimmer as well okay um so here's its first object called um mint my oh god i had to say that oh please excuse me there oh um it's quite hot in here. <laughs> that makes me a little tired i have to say heat exhaustion damn is it just me or does the heat make you tired like it just does like the uk is so hot right now but you know it's enough for me uh baby norm i need to get a drink because my voice is just gonna weird there we go i hope that's better <coughs> excuse me again so they've got um minx here i think that's how you say it. i'm really I'm rather, i can never pronounce some of these i'm so sorry but yeah this is our first object only at 264 degrees so that is just how dim this star is obviously because we're already getting first object out when it's already cold and then the second object well, one of its moons is, is an Earth-like object, so, yeah. Hatability Analyze, that's quite cool. Another Juno spacecraft uh, fidget spinner right there. So, um, here it is. Let's get a look at this before we move on to the gas giant it's orbiting. So, here it is here. Also going with a similar theme to the previous Earth-like we saw, with like a brownish-orange low elevation and then green on the other elevations. So, there's uh, Magaro. I hope I've done that right. Um, there's some um, Earth Samantha and Knife Light Hood, so 18.1, so a lot less than the other one we saw in the other system there. Still a very nice um, Earth look like though. Um, here's Maga, which is obviously the main object here. It's got a, um, some more moves as well. This object is completely smoking up there. Now, how big is Maga? Okay, um, smaller than Saturn, still quite large though. So, there's what it actually looks like um, without the sunlight on it. So, there's a good look at it there. Okay. Right, what have we got next? Next up, we've got Maru. Okay, so another Earth flight world. Okay. Oh, excuse me again. <laughs> yeah, hiccup there. All right. 87.6 and 77.4 life likelihood. That's a very good stat. Nice job on that. That's a very high number. Nice. TV and weather satellites. I'm guessing this is where the people of this system live who launched all these spacecrafts. That's where they um come from. It's GPS satellite as well. Cool. That's a uh, New Horizons probe there. So let's get a look at this guy. Um. So there it is there, going for green and blue, looking good. I'm so glad they added colour customization to Rocky Planets. Oh my god, please. Excuse me again, guys. Oh, heat. Oh, very tiring. Um, so yeah, Marl here. So very, very nice indeed. And yeah, I'm so glad they added colour customization to Rocky Planets. We just need it on gas giants. That is the one thing we need, is gas giants. That'd be the coolest thing once those get added, if they get added. And there's got another one called Moa um, further out, uh, as we can see. Okay, next up we've got um, Massifa. I think that's how you say that. I'm going with like a Mars sort of coloured atmosphere. It's not on Mars though because it doesn't have climate mode. Um, so that's what it. And like a studio, sorry. It's like a dark red colour there, okay. Let's go back on realistic. So it's also got some um, small minor moons around it. We won't zoom in on those, obviously. There's a spacecraft that's. Um, that's Cassini. That's the Cassini probe. Yeah, there's Cassini. Um, it's also got some more little moons out, and the Mupa, which is a larger moon. Oh, it's got a lot of um, greenhouse effect, though. What's the atmosphere on this guy? 11 ATM. Oh, hot. So that's a Venus-like moon orbiting this planet there. It's quite close to that planet as well. How large is this guy? 400 kilometers, so a very small little uh, planet um, there for Mupa. 
And that is it for this system as well. So I don't think there's anything else further out. So let's get a quick line up. It's a very small little system. So yeah, we can fit in the, um, a third system into today's video. So there we are. So there's all the objects. So looking good. And the simulation actually runs, which is cool. But I think my favourite is probably the one with that really high earth or life likelihood. I think that's quite a cool, um, quite a good number to have. But yeah, if anyone can make one higher, please send it in because that would be cool. But yeah, that, that is probably my favourite one out of all these. And let us know in the comments which one is better, this one or the um, the Thetkiri system. But we still have one more to check, so maybe that one will be the best. So next up, we've got the Mints system. So, um, Mints. Here it is here. Oh, there's a blue background. Oh, I'm liking the blue background. Okay, so the Mints system. Here we go. Okay, so see here, that first plant's looking good. Um, Oh, and it's just that. Okay. So this um, looks like it will be a very short little system to check. So here's our star, Mint. So three masses of the sun, largest star we've seen in today's video. A lot larger than the sun by radius as well. There's the sun there. So it's more of a, even bigger than Sirius, I think. Yeah, there's Sirius. So around that sort of size. 90 luminosity of sun. So I'm guessing this guy's got quite a big zone on it. No, we can't even see it. So there is that. So first up, we've got Kona going for a red atmosphere. Oh. That red is looking good. Very nice. So it's an all water world. Okay. So um, let's check the life likelihood. 35.1. So a lot of sea sort of um, sea um, animals would um, live here. And um, be or become in existence there. Also another object called Mona in this system. I'm guessing you like the name Mona. Then it's got Tonna orbs in it. So a moon orbs in the moon there. There's a um, Kona again. No, I like in the red on that. Sort of like a Kepler 22b sort of world. All water. And it's around a similar sort of size. Okay, next up we've got Fidek. Another gas giant. Oh my god. That's a lot of moons. Okay, so here it is here. So there's Fidek. Tusta. There's a moon there. And this one was Tem. That's an actual object. There it is there. You can see in the picture. We'll just uh, zoom on it so we don't need to um, go into it in the simulation. Nasta. Kerma. So if I zoomed into every single one of these, it'd make it way too long. I'm pretty sure you guys will probably get bored. So just doing it um, to save the time. So you don't want to make it too long. Um, Ratsy. Aura. Okay, there's that. So there's those. And then we've got, I'm guessing these are all little minor objects. Okay. Right. Oh, please excuse me again, guys. Oh, don't know why I'm trying to yawn. I wasn't yawning before I made these. So all this video. So I don't know what that's up with that. But... I've still got a lot more videos to record today um, for when I got on holiday. I'm sort of making two or three videos every day right now. That's why I decided I thought I might as well make one extra for you guys. Um, so we're doing weekly or um, daily videos all this week. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoy that. But, um, yeah, these are all normal um, just asteroids there. And I think oh, there's one more. Um, then we've got Lita, which is the last um, object here. So here it is. We zoomed onto it. And it's got one little object, a moon as well. Mo. So Lita Mo. <laughs> there we go. So I'm assuming that's everything as well for this simulation. iPad, please be quiet. So I'm assuming that's everything. And it looks like it. Okay, so let's get a line up here. And there we go. So there's not really too much to see in this simulation. But my favourite is definitely Kona. I'm really liking the red with the, um, with the water on it. That's looking cool. So yeah, there we go, guys. Let us know down below in the comments which simulation you thought was um, the best. Um, yeah, let us know which one you thought. There's a pretty sure um, the creator of the simulation, um, known by as Dank Yoshi in the Discord, will be interested to hear what you have to um, um, say on his system. But obviously, Dank Yoshi, whatever your YouTube um, name is, um, let yourself be known in the comments, and then we can all um, so we know it's you, obviously. So yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you um, hit the like button, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 4,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit 30 likes on today's video. And yeah, that is everything. So make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay tuned for a video coming tomorrow since, like I said, I'm doing one every day this week. So stay tuned for that tomorrow. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.